Hello everyone, today we'll be writing a C program to display alphabet both in capital letters and small letters. If you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe, like our videos, comment, leave your questions on the comment section and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notification for subsequent videos. In this um, coding today, we'll be using code block as our compiler. So if you have code block on your system, do well to launch it. Click on new project and click on console application, click on go, click on next, click on C, click on next, then type in your project name. My project name, I want to call this project um, alphabet. Okay, so I'll type in alphabet here, then click on next, click on finish. Now I will have an environment like this. I will come here to expand my source then double click on um, main dot C. Okay, I don't think I need this hello world statement in this program. So I'm going to do well to remove it. I'm going to have a variable that will help me out um, alphabet both in capital letters and small letters. So I'm going to declare it to be of type character. So I will say char letters. Now letters is my variable that will help me hold the um, alphabet. So char letter, then I would love to print a message to tell my users that um, this is capital letter and this is um, small letter. So I'll use my print f statement. My print f statement. Then in double quotes, I will. I'm going to type um, capital capital letters. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here and do my for um, loop statement. Okay. I'm going to have for. Then in bracket, I'm going to have um, my letter to be equals to A in a single quote, capital letter A. Then I'm going to terminate that statement. Then I'm going to have my A again. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to have my variable letters to be um, less than be less than or equals to um, Z in a single quote. Z should be in capital letter. Then I'm going to terminate the statement again. Then I'm going to say my letters plus plus. That is a post increment. Okay. So I'm going to come right here, open and close my curly brace, hit the enter. Then use the, the print statement to say print f. What am I printing? I am printing my letters. But remember that I will need a specifier. So the specifier for characters is percentage %c. So I'm going to have percentage %c inside this um, inside this um, double quote. Then come outside, put my comma, then letters. Okay, this will take care of my um, small, uh, my capital letter. Then I will do the same thing for uh, small letters. So I'm going to come here, still do my for statement, open and close my um, bracket. Then I'm going to say letter, letter is equals to but this time around is going to be um, small letter A instead of big letter A. Terminate the statement. Then I'm going to have letter again to be less than or equals to then Z in small letter. The Z have to be in um, a single quote. Terminate the statement again and I'm going to say letter um, plus plus. Now, mind you, I'm using one variable to take care of my capital letters and my small letters. Okay, I'm going to open my curly brace here. Then inside, I'm going to use my printf statement to um, display my letters. 
okay oh sorry over here i just did print i didn't say print f okay then i'm supposed to terminate the statement the programming statement yeah um just like this place too i didn't do my print f so i'll do print f then i'm going to also terminate my programming statement here okay this line is okay then so i'll come here now and do print f then in bracket i'm going to have my um letters but um i'm going to have my letters printed but uh, i need to bring in the specifier first remember that i said that the specifier for um character or for char is percentage um c so we'll have percentage c inside then we'll come outside uh, put our comma then type um letter okay so let's um run the program and see what the output will look like um it seems your project has not been built yet do you want to build it now i click on yes i want to build it now so it's going to build and run okay let's wait okay now you can see that we have capital letter then a b c d then um here uh, we do not have small letter we now have um a b c d again okay let's go back to the program and see what we can do to um, uh, make it look uh, more presentable so i'm going to click on any key to um, go back there so i want to come here i want to come to this particular um, second print statement okay i was supposed to bring in another print statement here to say small letter but we didn't do that okay let me put an s here then um, let me come here and say print f okay, my print f should be a small letter print f then in bracket then i'm going to say um small letters but my small letters will be in um, double quotes so i'm going to have small um letters okay but then i want the small letters to um, start in a new line so i'm going to introduce my slash n my slash n is like a carriage return it will start with a new line most times most people call it new line um this thing so i'm gonna do my percentage n my sorry my slash n so let's build and run the program again oh there's an error here um what could that be okay i think we should have um we should have a double a double okay so i think that's what we'll do now let's build and run oh the error is that we did not terminate our programming statement let's terminate the programming statement okay i think um, okay then at uh, this place here i think we should okay let's just run the program first let's see what our output will look like okay now look at this so we have um capital letters we have small letters okay but uh, let's still make it more presentable let's click on any key come back here i'm going to introduce a colon here and space then i'm also going to come here introduce colon and space i can even introduce the new line um, so that it will start printing in a new line okay let's do that and see the beauty let's build and run again now you can see capital letters printed in a new line small letters printed in a new line okay thank you for watching this video please 
do well to subscribe like our videos leave your comment on the comment sections and turn on the notification bell so that you can get subsequent videos like this thank you very much for